That's how it looks like if you lie in your CV and you get the job. <laughs> really funny guys, right? But this is not funny and this is what happens too often in the fitness industry. And really guys, this is pissing me off. This is so ridiculous, you know. This is something totally bad because imagine one thing, what happens here, okay? A personal trainer, he lies in his CV, he lies at the interview just to get that job, you know, and he's not the right fit at all. So in this video, we're gonna discuss and I show you the 10 top must-have skills for a personal trainer to have success and to don't foolish yourself. So listen very properly to this video to understand everything and we start with the most important thing. It's about how our human brain works and that you understood that, how the brain works and how the customer, how other people see you. If you think you are a personal trainer, but maybe you are not a personal trainer, you just think you are a personal trainer. To avoid this mistake, how you fix it and how you make a career as a personal trainer for real, I'm gonna explain you in this video step by step. So let's go through together. And first is the mindset as usual. It's a something mental and mental comes from the brain. And for that you have to understand first of all how our human brain works. Our brain creates pictures all the time. So if I say something to you now, if I say to you chair, close your eyes one second, say chair, what you see? You see a chair, right? Say table, you see a table, right? So close your eyes, make this exercise and say chair, you will see, you see a chair, right? This is how our human brain works. Open your eyes now again and now I show you again an example. Look here, Ferrari, what you see, this is what your brain shows you, a Ferrari. And even if in your imagination a Ferrari, I show you a red Ferrari, maybe in your imagination you see a white one or a black or a yellow. Maybe you see a California, maybe you see a 458, maybe you see a 488 or an older model. You don't know which kind of model you see, you know, but at least it's a Ferrari. Same is with the personal trainer. And that's why we start with that picture again here, with a guy who thinks he's a bodybuilder, but he lies in his CV and he get the job. And that is what happens also in the personal trainer industry. You lie and you get the job, but the people outside there, in their imagination, they know how a bodybuilder looks like. They know how a personal trainer looks like. And this is the first thing, and don't be a fool and blame yourself by doing something that doesn't suit you guys. This is so important. You will be not proud of yourself. You will not have success. You cannot achieve or accomplish in your life whatever you're looking to accomplish if you don't do your right job, if you don't choose the right job for you, okay? So, to make it clear, our brain makes pictures for us, okay? Like the Ferrari here. Let's go for another case. Look at this picture here now, what you see. This guy in this picture, he thinks he sits in a Lambo. He think, same like a personal trainer, he think he is a personal trainer. He think he have that body, he is muscular, he is strong, he have a six pack. But what's the truth? Watch the picture. He think he is in the Lamborghini. The color suits, yes, but the true is, look in what kind of car he is sitting. This is something like really foolish, you feel like a fool. That's what's pissing me off. People wearing a personal trainer shirt and they think I'm a personal trainer. They are proud of themselves. They think they are a personal trainer already because they just wear that shirt and they give them that status. No guys, you are not a personal trainer. To become a personal trainer, to be a personal trainer, there is something needed. There are some skills you need, you know, and this is what we're going to talk about. The 10 top must have skills. What you see here, you have, you need to have as a personal trainer to don't be a fool. Number one is, as I told you, the brain is creating a picture of a personal trainer, right? And that's how a personal trainer have to looks like. And not like this. Okay, guys. So maybe you think you are looking next to this how a person can have to looks like. But open your eyes, watch in the mirror, and be aware about how you looks like, because the first is the fit look, as you see here. 
The fit look is the first point and the most important point of the top 10 because it's the first impression you create. And if you are not looking fit as a personal trainer, your body is not fit, your, your skin color not looks healthy, your style, your hair, your beard, if you have a beard, as a woman, the, the way how you, you, you style your hair, your makeup, you have to be suitable. You cannot go with red lipstick and train people or have long nails, you know. You have to understand one thing. What are you doing? You are a prostitute? Or you are a personal trainer. If you are a personal trainer, wear the things a personal trainer wear. You need that outlook and you need to look like that. The fit out and the lifestyle have to suit you as a personal trainer. Point number two from the top must have skills. The second skill is your attitude. Your attitude is so important, guys. Because if you don't have the right attitude, okay, this is what the people, the, the clients, the people out there gonna see on the second look. The first look is your, it's your fit look, how you looks like. Your, if you have a muscle or body, if you are fit. The second look is they see your attitude. If you have that attitude to change the life of people, if you have that attitude to be a doer who achieve goals. That the client feels, yes, this guy has the attitude to change my life. This guy has that attitude to make me a better person. This is what you need, guys. Attitude, number two. Number three, this is the last point from the first part. As you see, I split it in three parts. The first part, fit look, attitude, and number three, passion. Then the, with the blue color, the second part here, and the last part's results before, after, and social media. And we'll talk all about this point. Number three, guys, passion. If you don't have a passion for what you do, I see so many people, uh, mostly in Dubai, you know, just for getting a visa and a work permit to stay there, they make a personal trainer job and they hate it. They even don't work out for themselves. They don't have a six pack. They don't have a muscular body. They don't have that look. They don't have that attitude. And they don't have a passion for the things. But for money, they do everything. Guys, this is like prostitution. Stop this shit. Please, that makes me so angry. You have to love what you do. Then you will never feel one day working in your, in your life because you work what you love. Okay. And this is what's so important when it comes about personal training. And this is what we are looking at body time. That's what makes us different from other EMS training providers because we are thinking on the right way and we are looking just to hire the right fit professionals and in future we will stop working with people who are not matching the criteria of personal trainer okay let's go to the middle part the blue part what you see now here in this picture this is one of the most important part after you make your first impression okay and this is also crucial for your success because this shows your expertise if you are an expert because there are people that look great, they look like a person, they style themselves. But what about your brain? They are stupid as hell. This is also a problem. You have to be a smart guy. A personal trainer is like an artist. It's a good looking person who knows how to talk, educated, smart. It's a role model. It's a leader. He leads the client to success. You are a strong personality who leads people to success. That's the personal trainer. So watch in the mirror, ask yourself, I'm that person. And if you are not that person, guys, leave it. Don't make yourself stupid. Don't be a fool. I show it again. Don't be that stupid guy who thinks he sits in a Lamborghini and staying like that. Yeah, I'm cool. You are not cool at all. You are a fool if you do that. And that makes me angry and piss me off. That's why I'm talking about these things here and educating people with my YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook account to help the people all over the world to understood personal training, to understood body time, to understood our vision, to understood what we are looking for to do. And you can be a part of that if you are willing to learn and make a commitment for yourself to learn these things, to fight to know these things. And about that, we talk a little bit later also in this video. Okay. In the middle part here, let's start talking about this because now we go out from the topic, but it was important also to clarify exactly what i'm talking in this video guys because this is really important take it serious even if you know it already why you don't do it if you know it you have to implement it not just knowing and don't doing it sales mindset nutrition and training without sales nothing can be sold 
you know you have to know how to do sales otherwise you cannot book appointments the client will not show off the client will not make a membership with you if you hear that objections from clients um, let me think about it uh, I'm not sure if I like it I changed my mind let me ask my wife or my husband I have to check my schedule I'm very busy I call you later uh, I changed my mind uh, I don't I, I'm not interested anymore these are all signs that you are not the right fit. You don't have the fit look, you don't have the attitude, you don't have the passion, you don't know about sales. Because if you know about sales, you can repair even the things. Because you have them at the phone, you cannot hear these things through the phone. At the phone is just sales and your attitude and the way how you speak English. I see people that are not aware about speaking English. I'm not a native speaking English guy, but I'm speaking far, way better than them. There are people out there they are speaking uh, honestly. Hello? Training you like? It's good, very good. Come try this. It's good for your health. You have to do one time, only one time a week. Good. Guys, come on. What's wrong with you? This is not personal training. This is not the way how you talk. What are you doing, guys? You don't feel ashamed, you know? You don't feel stupid doing these things. Stop blaming yourself, guys. Learn doing things right, then do the things. People, customers are paying for the service. Don't make you look like a fool. Okay, sales is important. And sales, I know to do sales. I'm very good in sales. But before I teach you about sales, I suggest you one thing. Because I'm learning sales also from professional people. I just recommend you listening to the audiobook from Grant Cardone, Sell or Be Sold. There's actually the latest what I'm listening. It's amazing. It's it's in a, in a, in a audio book. It's I think like six to eight hours long. And in this time, you know everything about sales commission. Everything what's important to become better. Take that time. You can listen it in one day to put your earpods in the ear and listen that, and then you become better. And not listen once. Repeat it. Repeat it. Write down. Make notes. Exercises. Practice. Implement it until you get it done and you know how to do it and you make it. You just make it. Okay, guys, this was about sales. So important. You need to learn about sales. Otherwise, it's not working at all. The next thing is people don't know one thing. And this we will talk in my online coaching program more about these things. Mindset, nutrition, and training. Losing weight is not about exercising daily. Watch a sumo ringer. Why he is not slim? He's fat. If he train every day as a performance portal for hours, more than a bodybuilder. And he is fat. Because the mindset and the nutrition mindset is 60%, nutrition is 35%, as you see here in my list. Mindset 60, nutrition 35, and training is just 5%. And here's the next stupid thing. Training is just 5%. You can lose weight even without exercising, guys. And then I see these competitors who are saying, we give you unlimited sessions. Train unlimited? This is the most unimportant thing, so why you need unlimited? Next thing is, you miss training. Electro muscle stimulation. It's a German concept from Germany. German engineers, very smart people, was inventing something that you don't need to go every day to the fucking gym anymore. It's enough once time in a week. Once a week is enough. That's what they invented. Very smart people. And now coming these guys who are sitting in the Lamborghini. They think they're driving a Lamborghini. They think they are business owners. They think they can do business. And they make unlimited sessions for something what you need to do just once in a week. It seems like you invent something, hair remover, right? To remove all your hair on your body. And one session is enough. You make one session, you remove your hair, that will be permanently, never ever you will see hair anymore on that places on your body where you make that treatment. With one session only. And now you advertise, we offer you this hair removal treatment that's necessary only one session, unlimited sessions. Why unlimited? Why two sessions? Why three sessions if one is enough? Guys, then you can see here where it comes the expert in. If you are an expert or if you are a fool. All these things are so important, guys. It comes about personal training. That's how a personal trainer think. That's how a personal trainer have to be. And this is on what you have to focus. Okay. The point is mindset understanding what you eat understanding how important the training is is the most important part that's 60 percent guys 
Nutrition is 35%, so that's why you know, need to know about nutrition. Everything, you can lose weight just by re-eating the right things. And you already eat every day. You need to use your mindset just to make some small changes and you become so successful to lose weight and to re re reach your dream body. And that's what we are doing at Body Time. At Body Time, we show you one thing. We show you how to reach your dream body losing weight without exercising daily and without giving up your favorite food. Exactly. You hear it right. That's what we are offering you at Body Time. And that's why Body Time is a it's a remarkable, it's an amazing product for you guys. Okay, let's go ahead with the last three points from my list here. You see that's results before, after, and the social media. Last but not least, you know, you are a personal trainer. That means you will have some results for what are you working for. You see a web designer, you have results, you have a portfolio. You see one guy who's doing constructions, he have a portfolio, he have results, right? So what about you? You need also your results. You have to have results there. That's so important, guys. You need results. Otherwise, for what are you working without results? The client also. Why he's paying for a personal trainer? Why he's paying for a service? Because he is expecting some results. If you don't deliver results, it will be the end of your journey. You cannot survive on the market. You do a short time something, cheating some people, getting some money, getting a bad Im image about what he was doing and you are an asshole, exactly. An asshole, you hear it right. Because this is cheating people, guys. You have to deliver the people what they deserve and for what they pay, you know. And I'm very strict and I'm, I'm talking here direct to the people because I hate people like that who just blame themselves for making some money and destroying a market that's a future market, a strong market. Leave it if you cannot do it. Do whatever you can do. Do whatever you love and live it. Results. It's important, guys. You need to have results. And the results you show through a before-after portfolio. That's the second point here in my list. From the top 10 must-have skills as a personal trainer. You have to show your before-after portfolio with your results. What you did with your clients. Or well, not only one or two. A bunch. Always. Ongoing. Having portfolio before afters after you are already in in the personal trainer business after one month already latest two months you start every week with portfolio 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 every week minimum one that means four in a month that means 50 in a year so this is the point guys this is personal training and this is how it's working and this is what you have to do and the next thing is your results and this is the last point in this top 10 list of must-have personal trainers. This is how I see in my company in body time if personal trainers are the right fit or not. Is their social media profile. That means Facebook and Instagram 100%. If not also Twitter and the other ones. But Facebook and Instagram. And Instagram first because actually it's Instagram the strongest. Instagram and Facebook is a must-have for them. If they don't have it till now, they make it now. They need it. They understood it. If they don't post things now they are not active now it's the time because they use it for their business not for their personal life and if they have a passion for that and they understood what they are doing they post their before after portfolios on their instagram and facebook they post their workouts they post information about nutrition they show their knowledge their passion their attitude their everything they show on the social media to the world out there that the world out there see yes he is an expert and this world out there want to join him for his expertise you know what he can do okay guys so this was all about what you need and one more thing you know some of you guys knows me some of you guys didn't know me my name is Norbert Simonis I'm the CEO and founder of the company Body Time more than nine years back, I started with this idea, with a vision to make an international successful company growing all over the world. And I see one thing, guys. I'm the CEO. I'm not a personal trainer. And I'm fitter. And I'm looking better than the most 
personal trainers I see out there. How can that be? And I'm not in touch with the customers. I'm talking in videos. I'm making systems for the business. I'm making um, the structure for the business. I'm developing the business. I'm not in front of the customer. And I'm looking better than most of the trainers. 90%, 95% of them are not looking like me. You know, maybe five or 10 looking like me. That's what I want to say before. Just five to 10% of the personal trainer have that body and looks like me and they are personal trainer. I show another example. My dad, it's 63 years young, guys. Look here, 63. Look at his body. So it's doable. He's training and taking care of his body. And look how he looks like with 63 years. That's what I mean. You look like a personal trainer or you sit in the Lambo like here and think you are a personal trainer. What the fuck, guys? Don't blame yourself. Stop foolish. Be a fool. Okay, guys. A personal trainer is not just how he looks like. It's also the brain. You need to know how to talk. You have to be able talking to people. And I give you one more example. It's about the attitude. It's about the law of attraction. It's about how you attract people, you know? If people always say, no, I don't want to train with this guy. Too expensive. I think it's free. Let me think about it. Let me ask my wife. Let me check my schedule. Guys, these are all excuses that you get. You know why? The same excuses I give to people and you also give to people if you don't like somebody. If you don't want to join somebody for an for a event or for a coffee or to hang out with them. Oh, sorry, I don't have time. This is always the same thing. Uh, I'm so busy. Let me check my schedule. I call you tomorrow. We can go tomorrow. I call you just to escape from him, you know? These excuses you use also if you don't like somebody. They are the same objections you get from the clients when they tell you in the face, you know, that you are not the right fit, but they cannot tell you, hey man, you watch yourself how you looks like. How to train with you, man? Come on. You believe yourself you are a personal trainer, you don't have mirrors at home. Watch yourself how to spend money for that. It's same like buying a Lamborghini and getting that car. How funny is that? It's same like Competing on a stage with bodybuilders, but you lie in your CV and you lie at the interview to get that job. How funny is that, guys? Stop doing these things, okay? We are professional. Use now your brain because your brain is doing the same thing. It's creating pictures. And this is the last thing for this video. Close your eyes and say, personal trainer. What you see. You see what you see in the mirror? Or you see a personal trainer who looks like this guys here for men and women this is the point what you need to understand and this is so important and crucial for your success guys the next thing is when to get started learning all these things because this is what I'm teaching you guys in my coaching program online coaching program all of these things just following me on YouTube Instagram and Facebook you get all this information just follow me and you can make a 10x career you can learn all these things. You can get all the skills developed for yourself. I'm teaching you. You just need to watch, repeat and do that. That's the only thing. And you become a professional. As I am today and as I become today. And I give you all my experience. 20 years experience in business. 30 years experience in the fitness industry. And working and meeting a bunch of fitness professionals experts who share their experience with me and all this experience and everything I get, I give you, you know, for free, all this information and you can follow me and get all this information. When to get started before you get the job, guys. First, learning all these things. This is important. You need first to learn all these things you need for your job and then doing your job. This is how it works. Not taking the job and then starting learning these things. It's not working like that. So first you need to do is learn these things. When you are prepared, apply for a job and get that job. If you did that mistake in the past and you was lucky and get the job and you are not the right fit and you see you are struggling because you hear always that objections from the clients. Too expensive. Let me think about it. Uh, I don't have time. Let me check my schedule. I changed my mind. Not interested anymore. Let me ask my wife or my uh, husband. 
that means you are not the right fit guys if you hear that objections and you are already working as a personal trainer then it's coming the next step what you can do and this is the last one and if you don't do that then it's your fault i cannot help you but this is what you need to understand what you need to do if you are not prepared and you have already the job and work as a personal trainer already okay and you get that objections then you need to do the following thing you have to start learning now start learning now and not a little learn a lot go back and think about in the past how you was learning the things what you was not able to do in the past when you go to school you learn just 10 minutes a day or 30 minutes or one hour no you go to school for six hours every single day five times a week right when you study you study just 10 minutes a week or in a month or in a year no you study six to eight hours every day five days in a week and no excuses guys maybe now you will say yes norbert but i have different subjects you know with school we have uh, uh, english we have german we have french we have history we have biology we have physics you know and that's why it's six hours and at the university the same we have different subjects guys stop using excuses what the fuck you have also different subjects here you have already 10 subjects here what you need to learn and you have to exercise also daily working out you have nutrition you have mindset you have workout you have sales you have in sales a lot of other subjects you have attitude you have psychology you have so many things supplements you have so many subjects also here what you need to learn and that's the point if you want to become better and become a personal trainer if you don't did it already in the past to invest the time studying learning it then the next thing is now you work eight hours a day when you go home you study six hours then you have 14 hours totally you have 13 hours left one hour working out eating relaxing a little bit and resting sleeping time that's how you manage and schedule your time that you fix it that you that you recover the lost, the information, the knowledge, what's missing you, that you recover all of these things. That's how it works, guys. And that's what you have to do to become a fitness professional, an expert, and start being that amateur here who is thinking, sitting in a Lambo, who is thinking to be a personal trainer who is on the stage and looks like a fool. Stop doing that thing, okay? This is so important, guys. If you understood that and start taking action now, your life gonna change and you can become professional and an expert in your field. If you have any questions, just comment below. I'm happy to answer you and to include your questions in my next videos. And don't forget to get subscribed now to follow me on YouTube here, on Instagram and Facebook to be always up to date with my latest information and watch my other videos from my coaching program and what I'm posting over and over daily again in my social media accounts. Thanks for watching guys. See you in my next video.